<laughs> Marjorie, good evening. Thanks so much for calling back. What can we help you with tonight? Good evening. I have like a personal injury question in regard to workman's comp. Yes, yes ma'am. Uh, last, last August, I had an on-the-job accident which resulted in fracturing in two places my ankle. It resulted in emergency surgery, <clears throat> excuse me, with a plate and some pins put in, uh, screws put in. Uh, since then, uh, I've tried to, you know, work twice. They would, he would release me for light work, et cetera. I've tried twice. He keeps swelling and giving me a lot of trouble, yeah. swelling mainly. But anyway, so uh, the, the orthopedic surgeon that did the surgery has um, took me back off from work and told me, you know, to stay off to him. We could get things going right with it. Right. Well, the workman's comp company uh, wanted me to see one of their orthopedic surgeons, which I told him I had no problem with that. Okay. Only that it was three and about three, three and a half hours away. So I had to get someone to take me because the foot that I broke is my right foot, and it causes me a lot of pain to push it down the accelerator, especially right. for three and a half hours of driving. So anyway, they um, said that they didn't have a, a that was the doctor I had to see. I said, have no problems with seeing your doctor or one of your doctors if you could find one closer to me. Well, that resulted in I get a letter in the mail and, and an email also saying that they terminated my weekly uh, workman's comp benefit because I didn't see the doctor of their choice. Is that legal? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Marjorie, and let me give you some advice. Do you? Ha it sounds like you don't have an attorney now, do you? No, no. And when I called to cancel the doctor's appointment because it was so far away, I didn't feel like I could make that trip. The first Marjorie, thing let me asked jump me in. did I have an attorney. Let me jump in. we got to get Jim. we only got yeah. about a minute here. Okay, so quick, Marjorie, yeah. Marjorie, first thing, look, you sound like a very sweet lady. She does. You're being pushed around here. You're being bullied. Please yeah. call my office Monday morning or another law office of somebody who handles workers' compensation claims. The short story is that uh, the employer is entitled to have you see a physician, a physician of their choice to give an independent, what's called an independent medical examination. They are not allowed to make you drive halfway across the country. <laughs> if you have medical uh, problems uh, that, uh, that, uh, that in pr inhibit your ability to travel, your doctor that you're seeing now can say she doesn't need to go there and see these guys. And they're not sending you three hours away to see, get you to see a doctor who's gonna treat you fairly. I hate to tell you this, they're gonna send you to a doctor who's gonna say, this lady's fine and she can go back to work and they're gonna stop your benefits, okay? So you This, please, sound, this smells bad to you, this, doesn't this, it, this is, this, uh, this is routine practice, okay? This gotcha. is what they do. They'll send you to a doctor. There's plenty of doctors between three hours away and here that you could see. <laughs> They're sending like you to somebody they send a lot of business to, and he's going to come out of there. I can tell you what the report's going to say before you go see him. It's going to say she's That's recovered, it. she's fine, right. she can go back to work, you can stop her benefits, and your benefits will be stopped, whether they should be or not. And you've got to have somebody in your corner. Please, please, you don't have to call my firm. You can call, we will help you, but get you an attorney. You've had a serious injury. This has been going on a year. It's recurring. Mm -hmm. You need some help. You don't need to try to, to, to work this by yourself. Right. The adjusters on the other side have handled thousands of these and they're taking advantage of you.